When KUAM broke the story in November 2013, it was clear inmates in the maximum security unit weren't just serving time. At least for one, he was caught on video serving a foot massage to Department of Corrections officer Leo DeGario Buon. After we received this anonymous video, we brought it to the attention of Dep Corps Director Jose San Augustine. It's not acceptable at all. If you ask me, that's personal servitude, that's having a prisoner doing something uh, illegal, inappropriate uh, uh, to a staff. Aside from receiving a foot massage, KUAM received a picture of Buon, who appeared to be sleeping with the same inmate holding and looking at a cell phone. St. Augustine launched an investigation into the videos and pictures and in January 2014 terminated the officer. Buon would eventually file an appeal of his termination with the Civil Service Commission and just last night a judgment of dismissal was signed and ratified by commissioners. According to the settlement agreement signed by the officer and director San Augustine, Buon agreed to withdraw his appeal. In exchange, DEPCOR withdrew his termination and instead changed it to a 30-day suspension. DEPCOR additionally agreed to reinstate Buon to his previous position as a corrections officer too and pay one year's worth of back pay, totaling about $50,000. So what happened from then? That's not good. To now. KUAM spoke with the DEPCOR director today. St. Augustine says his position hasn't changed and that Buon's actions were wrong. He adds that during the hearings on the appeal, commissioners were asking questions regarding Mr. Buon's performance at DEPCOR. St. Augustine says they brought up the officer's five outstanding performance reports that stem back to 1999. He added this case was his first time that he had any adverse action taken against him. St. Augustine said, quote, I stand behind the action that this department took against Officer Buon because they demonstrated his deliberate abuse of authority over inmates in his care and custody. However, the Civil Service Commission saw otherwise. Ultimately, I opted to settle this case to save the government money in time-consuming litigation. He added, when Officer Buon returns to work, I intend on taking measures to ensure this doesn't happen again by providing training and proper supervision to all all of the corrections staff, end quote.